Hi there, my name is Brett Fish Anderson and this is my blog and I'm, I'm quite sad today because I have realized from some people that have been commenting on my blog that, that I have been a really bad person in quite a number of ways and I thought the only way or the best way I know to, to make it up to people is to issue a personal apology. I had somebody comment the other day, you are always writing about the blacks, it's black this and blacks that and why do you write so much about the blacks and I realized that that was true. I have written a lot about the blacks lately, as you call it, but that just hearing about that made me think about other things that I've done that are much worse things than just writing about the blacks the whole time. And I think these are the things that I'm wanting to apologize for. And so firstly, when, when I have come into your house and I have tied you to a chair and I've made you read my blog, that is unacceptable. That is an unacceptable thing. How can anybody do that? How can I make somebody to read my blog? I forced you to read my blog and that is awful. I don't know that I can make it up to you, but I just want to say that I'm sorry. I'm really sorry that I, I, I made you do it in that way and so many times. So every time you had to keep on coming back and reading about all the blacks this and the blacks that because I just keep on forcing you to have read my blog. So I just want to say that I'm really sorry about that. I think the other thing that have made me really sad are when I have made you give all your money to black people because that also don't seem fair. Um, who am I to come into your house and force you to give away all your money and not just your money but I've made you give all your things away to black people so that now you are poor. And I mean I probably made you give away your computer so you are probably not even reading this. But that that is almost like a wicked act like I made you give away things to people. Um, how dare I? How dare I? Sorry, I'm getting a bit angry, but that, of course you get angry. Why? How can someone do that to you? They make you read their blog. They make you give away all their things to black people. And I mean, I've probably done worse things than that as well, but those are just two of the things that have come to mind. And so I just want to say that I'm sorry. Oh, wait there, our third thing. Um, I've made you lose your identity because some of you have had to come to my blog four or five different times uh, under a different name. And you've had to even create a new email account that isn't even a real email so that you, you can have a different name every time so that you can comment some more times. And that doesn't seem fair. Why, why would I do that to you, make you be different people? Why? Why wouldn't I just let you come onto my blog and be yourself under your own name, maybe even with a picture of who you are, so we know what you are saying and who it comes from. But I've made you almost hide away in the shadows and, and almost like just be an anonymous, not even a person. It's almost just like, I don't know, like something hiding behind a keyboard, just tapping out things. And so I want to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making you read my blog. I'm sorry that I made you give away all your stuff to black people. I'm sorry for making you have to assume a new identity. What else have I done? Oh, for the white people, um, I, I have made you carry like white guilt. Um, and I spend a lot of time doing this apparently from the comment section, um, a lot of time. And I'm saying, I'm sorry. Um, I, I don't want you to carry the white guilt anymore. Um, I know I've put such a huge emphasis on that. And maybe lastly, um, and this might be the worst thing at all, um, it, 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 is, it is racist, it is completely racist, but I have hated white people. Um, I... I mean, I am a white people. I, I think you probably get that, right? I am a white people. 
Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm constantly accused of, of hating white people. And, and so I've, I think even I've caught myself up in this because I'm obviously hating myself. Um, and I think it is time for me to show my true colors and to be real. I've not been real for so long and this is a confession that I have to make and I please, I hope you will forgive me for being racist, but I, I'm just going to say it, I like white people. Oh, it feels quite freeing to be able to admit it at last because I've, I've known for so long how much I hate white people, but it's true, I like white people. I am a white people, I've married a white people. Um, I, I, I kind of think we're cool. I do like black people too, I know, it's so confusing, but bear with me. But let me finish off by saying this. I love South Africa. This is my home. We, my wife and I, were just away for three years in America land because we felt that we needed to go there. We needed to go work with some non-profits, we had stuff to learn, we felt God was calling us. But the moment I get a choice in the matter, I'm back here, this is my heart, this is where I live. I love South Africa. I don't think I would love white South Africa. And I don't think I would like black South Africa. If it could be divided into those two things, I would not like either of them. I like South Africa because we are white and we are black and we are brown and we are Indian brown and we are Asian and we are refugee and it's messy. And it's very hard. And I don't know many of the answers. But the other night I was sitting with two of my new friends. I hope they would call me friends. In their car or in a car. Outside their house in Kailicha. And we were talking about the future. And we were talking about restitution and how it works. And we didn't have any answers. We were just going around in circles and we are trying to figure it out. And... At one point, my one friend got really animated and passionate, and I was like, oh, my word. But I love it, because I think this is it. I don't like violence. I'm, I really don't like violence, and I don't think it's the answer. But I'm prepared to fight. I'm prepared to fight for my country. I'm prepared for uncomfortable conversations. I'm prepared to spend time giving space to people that make horrible comments on my blog or people that challenge on my blog. I love challenge. I love people to question what I'm saying. But people that call names and judge and assume things. I love my country. I'm willing to fight and spend time doing that. There's so much wrong with this country. But there's so much right with this country the spirit and the heart of South African people, the love. It don't matter if you're black or white or Indian or colored or a refugee. That is not it at all. There are incredibly amazing people in this country. And there are people that are troubled and are just giving us a hard time and are just making it difficult. Honestly, my opinion is if that you have no hope for this country, and if you are going to be negative all the time, and if you continue to be racist, then I would love for you to go somewhere else. I'm not sure if that's the right answer, but I would love for you to not be here because you're making it hard for those of us that are really just trying to make it better. I would love more if you changed your mind, if you, if you just took a second to get to know somebody from another race. Um, if you started building friendships, if you started inviting people around your dinner table started having communion together because I think once you start to hear someone's story you realize that even though we, maybe we look different on the outside we are not so different on the inside and so I don't believe in violence but I believe in fighting for my country and so while I apologize for forcing you to read my blog for making you give up all your stuff to black people for making you assume another identity so you can write anonymous comments on my blog. For carrying white guilt. For all of those things. I will not apologize for loving South Africa. I will invite you to love it with me. And to be part of the change. 
and to come have a meal at our table and we can introduce you to some amazing people from other bases. And you can decide for yourself. So please forgive me. <laughs>